Hi guys, this is Hamza. I'm a designer at Imagine Art and I'm recording this detailed tutorial today to walk you guys through all of Imagine's functionalities, right? Uh, we've recently revamped our user interface and introduced a lot of cool and exciting uh, functionalities and features. So over the course of this tutorial, I'll be showcasing all of the functionality. And if you're someone who's just getting started with the platform, uh, this tutorial is going to be very helpful to uh, get acquainted with all of our features and uh, how you can access all of our uh, tools, right? So uh, open here in front of me, I have the dashboard, right? So once you log into the platform, this is the page that you're that's going to pop out on your screen, right? You'll notice how all of the tabs at the bottom have uh, multiple different headings, right? And all of these headings reflect uh, the various functionalities that we do offer. For example, image, video, personalized uh, effects, motion transfer, all of these. And below them, you'll see how it says image studio, music studio, video studio. All of these are our legacy studios, right? So before we leave out the interface, these, these were the studios that users use to uh, uh, created generations, right? Uh, so older customers who are watching this uh, uh, this tutorial, uh, to access the previous legacy studios, you can simply click on the buttons and it takes you to the old dashboard. Anyway, so I'm just going to dive straight in, uh, right in and kick on, click on image, right? Once I click on image, this is the panel that's going to open over here, right? Over here, you're either going to be uh, have the gallery view open or the list view. The list view is usually open by default, uh, but as you can see, I have a range of uh, generations already done and gallery view was the one. However, you can toggle between these two over here. Anyway, so once you open up this page, right, you'll see that there's a prompt box at the bottom and a range of other uh, other buttons and other functionality, right? I'm going to walk you through all of these. So, uh, over here in the prompt box, this is where you describe your image. This is where you enter your text prompt, right? Uh, whatever generation that, whatever you're looking to have in your generation, you simply write it down and the platform generates it for you, right? Additionally, this little tab over here, I can click on it and this pop-up is going to show up, right? All of, all of these are image generation model, right? So imagine art is an aggregator of leading gen AI model, right? So you must have heard there are, some, there are a lot of uh, image generation models across the market, right? For example, Chat GPT, Flux 1.1 Ultra, Nano Banana, Seadream V4, right? So all of these uh, models are available on our platform, right? This can be very helpful to creators because uh, each model has its own strengths and weaknesses, right? So uh, below every the name of every model, we've written down uh, its uh, its strengths and its capability, right? Um, so this is where you can access all of uh, the models, right? And below uh, and below that, as you can see, under each model, you'll see this uh, these numbers written down, right? These essentially reflect the token that the model gener uh, model consume, the credits the model consumes per generation, right? So for example, if I select Seadream V4, right? This is going to uh, consume 18 credits, right? So the entire platform essentially runs on a credit basis. You need credits to make generation, right? Anyways, this is where you can select uh, the various models you can access all of them over here. We're constantly updating the models to the platform uh, and you can access them all from within here, right? I'm just going to close then this. And right next to the models button, you will see over here, this is from where you can talk that the aspect ratio, right? Like, uh, you'll see some standard market uh, aspect ratios such as one by one, three by four, nine by 16, right? And these aspect ratios are essentially uh, very, from model to model, right? So for example, C-Dream V4 provide these aspect ratios. Other models may or may not provide additional aspect ratios. For example, Chat GPT image provides a lot more aspect ratios as compared to C-Dream V4, right? Um, you can access them and others them right here, right? It does has no 
uh, affect the aspect ratio has no effect on the amount of credits to generation is meant to be now. Anyways, moving forward next to the aspect ratios, we have another button, which essentially is uh, from where you can talk to the variations, right? What this means is uh, how many variations you want in terms of generations from the same prompt, right? For example, four images, four variations are always selected by these four. I'm just going to write a cat, right? And you can see how there's four generations over here that are uh, four images over here that are being generated. Similarly, if I click on two images and write a cat, and you can see how this time it's uh, processing two generation, right? Okay. Additionally, you may also add images, right? Uh, this is a very cool tool. It gives a lot more creative control to users. You can click on this and upload uh, any of your images from whether you've generated them on the platform or you've created them externally, you can upload them here, right? And uh, once you've done that, you will be able to use them as reference images for the platform. Oh, and we have our cat change wrinkle, by the way. Anyways, so the reference images show up here. You can add multiple reference images uh, and edit them. If you click on this button right here, you can um, you can also toggle between uh, what you would like to like the platform to utilize your reference images for. If you would like for them to serve as a style reference, then this uh, you can do that here. Similarly for characters, similarly for uh, nano banana and sea dream, essentially help you to get access time and Right. Uh, anyways, uh, this was it for the image studio. I believe uh, you can hover over the image and click on the cross and it will deselect the reference image that you uploaded. But uh, that's generally a standard uh, brief, very brief and basic overview of uh, how to get started with image studio. Right. So moving forward, we'll talk about video generations, right? So uh, on the updated platform, on the revamp dashboard, we've uh, we've removed all of the, the legacy studios, so you don't have to go back to the dashboard to generate videos. You can do that right here within the platform. You'll see how over here on this top bar, uh, you can simply click on this icon right here and it's going to move you over to video generations, right? Notice how when I do that, the prompt box right here changes a little bit. What this essentially does is that it changes the prompts and my customizations to uh, video generation, right? So it's more catered towards video generation. Similarly, just uh, same as uh, for image generations, this is where you can access all of our video models, right? We we have a comprehensive list of video models that we uh, provide our customers. There's a range of uh, models, leading models across the market that you can access on Imagine under a single subscription, right? Additionally, next to the part where, next to the point where you can see how many credits a, uh, a model consumes, you can also see uh, the the duration that the video generation model offers as well as the uh, resolution that it is offered in. For example, I'm going to click on see dance light, right? I'm going to click on see dance light. And over here, I can toggle between the aspect ratios just as an image generation. Another cool feature is the duration second, right? So most of our models offer you the capability to choose between the length of uh, the video generation that you'd like to see. So for C dance light, that can be up that can be up to twelve seconds long, right? Similarly, over here, I can toggle between resolutions. So for C dance, I have uh, two resolutions, right? Seven twenty p and four eighty p. Naturally, uh, as you can see, seven twenty p consume one thirty two credits, right? Uh, if I select four eighty p, which essentially means to reduce my uh, resolution, it's going to consume fewer credits, right? So if you want to uh, save credits and uh, high higher resolution, higher quality outputs are not a priority for you, then you can uh, reduce resolution, right? Additionally, another cool feature that we've introduced is the start frame and end frame functionality. What this means is that I can define the starting frame and the ending frame of my video generation, right? For example, 
if I was to upload this image at my starting frame, and uh, perhaps the second image of the car of my ending frame, right? What the platform, what the model is going to do, I'm going to add in a texture prompt over here. And based on that textual prompt, the model is going to fill in the details between these two frames, right? It's going to start from this particular frame, fill in the details based on my text prompt in the middle, and then end the video at this particular frame of the car, right? Uh, again, just as the case is with image generations, all video generation models have their own strengths and capabilities. For example, Google VO3 uh, is great at following uh, prompts as well as uh, producing lip sync, uh, perfect lip sync videos, right? However, Pixverse is uh, quite good at a more stylized nature of uh, generation rights. Uh, so you can, as you get started with the platform, you can explore all of the models and see which one gives you the best results based on your particular use case, right? Anyways, guys, uh, this was just a brief overview of uh, our platform. I hope this is helpful in getting you guys started. And as we move along in uh, our tutorials, uh, we're going to talk more about how to get specific kinds of generations uh, based on very common use cases and how Imagine Art can be very helpful to you. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm excited to see uh, how you guys uh, use the platform. And uh, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.